this is epic okay and the third book we're reading through we're gonna go through flip through of a comic book haul we did recently right it's one of uh, you know a handful not a handful but about 55 books 50 books that we picked up from a couple of hauls okay about 50 books that we picked up from a couple of hauls and uh, we'll have a take a look at mainly I wanted to take a look at this it's sort of a teaser for Dune comic book that uh, Marvel Comics was putting out the artist being Bill Sin Sinkwitzki right but there's a Dave Sim story here that I read this morning <laughs> I thought it was hilarious so um, we'll have a read through that as well and this book we picked up for a dollar right one dollar now the people that graded this book that I picked it up from they graded it at 7.5 and from first look it looks like a 7.5 which is very fine minus however sin vin itch sin vintage thank you very much crack sin kevich sin sin kiv itch sin kivich bill sin kivich bill sin kivich okay now they graded this a 7.5 very fine minus we're live stream by the way and i'm reading the chat but it's a lower grade than that okay but for a dollar this is a fantastic buy very happy with it very happy with it okay the reason it's a lower grade is because it's got water damage on it you can see a little bit of the ripples there see the ripples okay that's like ripples there and unfortunately i can't just randomly flip through this because there's some nudity in this okay so let me hold on where'd that paper go Use that paper I had a little marker here there it is okay there's a little marker here now this is the end of where we're gonna read I can't show you this page because there's nudity here we're live streaming on on uh, twitch right but you can tell the water damage as well because there's a little bit of staining there ripples and a little bit of staining do you see the staining right there okay so I wouldn't grade this at as 7.5 uh, very fine minus I would grade this as uh, probably a 5 or something I'm not sure where water staining takes you uh, some places some graders when something has water staining they really lower or uh, water damage they really lower the grade okay uh, to me it doesn't lower it that much but I'm willing to pay a lower price for it thank you very much right um, the first few pages are okay there shouldn't be any nudity here I just want to show you the table of contents here okay the table of contents I should let me get rid of the board so it'd be easier to hold on to right. so this is epic illustrated number 28 came out in February 1985 right it, and it's beautiful artwork gang uh, if you can and these books epic illustrated cheap 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 most of them are very cheap and there is um, I believe 29 in the series I have a few of these already I don't know if I have this one or not um, I don't have the whole series but you can pick these up fairly cheap on the down low okay on the down low okay so um well worth it well worth it especially if you like heavy metal magazine so take a look this has got the last galactic story by john byrne script and pencils by john byrne or byron i used to say byron now we say Byrne, i guess uh terry austin inks we got cobalt 60 right by mark uh, bodhi and script by Larry Todd the Atlantic Fantasy Fair portfolio the best of show Cerebus and I think we're gonna take a look at Cerebus one by Dave Sim P 
page 32. Treasure Hunt. We got Media View. We got How to Get Ahead in Tomorrow's Army, story by Steve Sable. Everlasting Tag. Okay. Story and Art by Rick Vedic. You got Dragon uh, Lander. You got Toadswart. Uh, film into comics. That's the one we wanted to take a look at. The Dune in 2010, sort of a teaser at page 82. And then All's Well. We can't take a look at that one. There's nudity in that one. Okay. By Zoran Vanjak. Okay. Cover is by W.M. Kaluta. Now, let's go to page 32. 32, and just have a look at the, it's like four pages of Dave Sim's story with Cerebus. Page 32, now I'm gonna have to, I should have marked it. Uh, I just gotta make sure there's no nudity on the page following it. And no nudity there, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, and this is Sergio Aragonis, uh, grew. And when I went up, when I went to pick up the EC comics, it was seven books, six books. It was a local buy that I did from a comic book seller. He actually had an original art piece that he just got. He was buying original art pieces by Sergio Aragonis. Okay. Uh, and I took a look at it. It was like, oh, snap. So this is Dave Sim. Just a short three pager, I believe, uh, of Cerebus, right? And if you've never read Cerebus, the artwork, you want to read it. Whoa. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. A friendly reminder. A friendly reminder. Who's at the door? It's service knocking it down. Smash. Stand in the doorway. Comes up to whoever's there. Smat, smatity, crank, crunk, crunk, schmunk. Ba, 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 ba. He's got his hammer all bloody. Or what do you call it? That you smack things with? Right? Grope, grope. Looks like he either killed the guy or knocked him off silly. Grope, grope. Ching. Cha ching. Cha ching. Gets the money. Right? And turns around and says, Next year, file early. He's a goddamn tax collector. <laughs> right file early cerebus the barbarian you love to hate very fun i thought that was fun i thought that was fun now let's take a look at dune let's take a look at let me make sure this is nope let's take a look at this Film into comics, Dune and 2010, The Space Odyssey. 
special preview look at the Marvel Comics adaptation of this season's two most eagerly anticipated science fiction films. Right? That sting right there. Our Conan. Beautiful artwork by Bill Savinsky. Savinsky. The sun is not cooperating. A sand rider. Look at that. The worms of Arrakis. Teaser. Dune is a trademark of Dino De Laurentiis Corporation, a light and licensed by Merchandising Corporation of America Incorporated. Copyright 1984. Dino De Laurentiis Corporation. All rights reserved. 2010 is copyright 1984 MGM UA Universal Artists Entertainment Corporation. A sand rider. Oh, better make sure this guy doesn't slip. Outside, with the shields down, Arakin is vulnerable to the Harkonnen ships carrying the Emperor's Sartukar Legion. To adapt such highly successful novels as Frank, Frank Herbert's Dune and Arthur C. Clarke's 2010 Space Odyssey, two filmmakers had to deal not only with satisfying the expectations of a previously established audience, but with discovering visual translations for the depth and scope allowed in a work of prose. To convert the films into comics marvel's creative team faced similar problems they had to convey the experience and feel of each movie and at the same time create line art equivalent in a limited number of pages for several several hours of moving speaking visual images this involves writers editors and artists boiling the script down to key scenes and passages condensing and bridging dialogue and perhaps most important finding the right illustrative style to suit the given film though the final adaptations will be printed in full color we thought it might be interesting to demonstrate this sense of style by showing the art as it is originally done before color is added. My plan, the plan to crush the Atreides. I will have Arrakis back for myself. He who controls the spice controls the universe and we have controlled, control of someone who is very close to the Duke Leto. This person, this traitor, would be worth more to us than ten legions of our of uh, Sar Sardukar. I won't tell you who the traitor is or when we'll attack, but the Duke will die before these eyes, and know it is Baron Valdemir Harkonnen who orchestrated his doom.
as they explode everything in their path let's see if we can get the in the cause of Muadib forward death to the Harkonnens It was all so e so very easy. The traitor, your husband searched for in vain was Doctor Hugh. He was someone who trusted you trusted completely. Thus, it was a simple matter for him to drug the food and drink of your you and your young son making your capture a simple matter and then he he shut down the force field generators in the castle opening it to attack i of course followed after the palace had been subdued and that brings us to the present goodbye jessica and goodbye to your sweet young son Jessica Benny Jesuit that bore a son more deep the sleeper must awaken located in the distant future light years away from our own world the environments of dune are solidly logically created by great, uh, greatly alien but greatly alien to what most of us know through convincing accumulation of detail in costumes and settings through carefully achieved special effects the film captures this uh, this this reinforcing it with this constant succession of images with the far fewer number of images a comics adaptation provides bill sikwinski sikwin sin which worked boldly and expression expression ex uh Expressious, expressistically, Oof. worked boldly and expressively, expressively building emotionally the movie's unique universe to portray the impact and intensity of what might be whole scenes and sequences. He employ, uh, employed deliberate exaggeration, reaching beyond what the actual makeup. And effects might indicate and drawing upon an acute sense of design he fully utilized mass and negative space to suggest dunes incredible landscape which with the story's underlying sense of ecology share almost the same importance as the characters which move within them southeast over the shield wall that's where i told your sand master to concentrate his spice harvesting the 
there's the mining facility below where there is spice and spice mining there are always worms paul to protect their territory vibrations attract them dr kynes will will we see a worm paul asks why do they come so the conversation should be i should read these in order there's the mining facility below dr kynes will we see a worm where there is spice and spice mining there are always worms paul why do they come paul asks to protect to protect their territory vibrations attract them important to read these in order and then that's the last page teaser for dune and then we get into 2010 space odyssey beautiful artwork there's the monolith right what is it one of the astronauts asks not even astronauts space folk I guess or astronauts 200 kilometers I am getting no radar echo 190 kilometers no later let's read the text different considerations enter into the stylistic approach to 2010 as with its predecessor pre the predecessor 2001 the story unfolds in a time which seems less far removed each moment the science and technology are reasonable extensions of what already exists and even much that doesn't doesn't is already established in our minds uh, from what we saw in the previous film all of this indicates a much more straightforward and literal interpretation there is grand grand grander and cosmic significance in 2010 but they are built up carefully to make them all the more believable when they come in the layouts of the joe uh, barney and larry hama and in the elaborate finishes and accomplishments accomplished ink some tall palmer there is the constant consideration of realistic detail and logical progression to accompany and enhance the scenes designed to stir and create wonder this white thing doesn't fall over let's do this 2010 right. I've left 60 messages for Chris play a tape every week for him I will transmit the first day I am awakened please don't forget I couldn't forget she said beautiful artwork look at the line work on here and the inks right. 
Look at that. Look at that. More so than 2001, human drama and emotions play a greater role in 2010. This gives Palmer's illustrative pen and brushwork further opportunity to make full play with lighting as well as with humanizing what might otherwise have become sterile photographic likeliness in the characters. As with the filmmakers, the creative teams on Dune in 2010 have sought to find their own way of successfully expressing the experience of one medium in the form forms and format of another defining it with their own individual styles and hopefully making it something that along with reflecting the original offers a unique enjoyment on its own this month along with being able to see the films you'll you'll have a chance to find just how well these eff efforts turned out as well the adaptation of dune is written by Ralph Machi, art by Bill Sikwinski, coloring by Christy Scheel, and lettering by Joe Rosen. The adaptation of 2010 is written by J. M. Uh, Dematis. Layouts are by Joe Barney and Larry Hama. Finishes, inks, and coloring are by Tom Palmer, and lettering by Rick Parker. Both projects are edited by Bob Budinsky and Jim Shooter is editor in chief. Eclipse, eclipse, right. or not eclipse, epic, <laughs> epic, <laughs> right? Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, originally 250 Canadian US. Uh, 150 pounds UK and three dollars in Canada All right. beautiful 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 and the back in starstruck number one you'll meet Galatia 9 Bruchia the muscle erotic and Kalf Bajar nice look at the artwork look at that good girls that's very Dave Sim but it's not Dave Sim it's uh, by Lean Leanne Lee and Michael W Coluta new from epic comics bi-monthly on sale soon fantastic fantastic let's take this out and put this back again gang one dollar amazing bagged and boarded amazing include a little bit for shipping as well double the price make it two dollars right if you buy it in a lot 